everyone and welcome back to Next Stage Designs with me, Sylvia. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to crochet this beautiful laptop case, but this pattern can be used for the phones, iPads and the books, and also can be used as a handbag. video I will be creating this laptop case for my laptop but as I said these can be used for the phones for the iPads for the books or as the handbags as well or just as a pouch I will be using this macrame cord and it's a cotton blend it's 80% cotton and 20% polyester and I used one of these rows so I used 225 meters for my laptop case but of course if you will be using it as a phone case or iPad case you may use less so for this laptop case I used one of these rows but of course if you don't want to use the cord you can also use the acrylic yarn but acrylic yarn will stretch so I like to use cotton yarn instead for the cases so it will keep nice shape and the weight I would use if I don't have this cord I would use worsted weight yarn or chunky so I will be using this cord also you will need a pair of scissors and I will be using five millimeters hook also you will need a yarn needle one button a stitch marker and a tape measure and of course you will need your device you can choose the phone or iPad I will be making this case for my computer or laptop as I don't want my laptop to get any scratches so I decided to create this case but of course you can use anything you like and this pattern will work on any device next you will need to decide where do you want your opening so for me I want my opening on this longer side so I will need to take measurement for my chain from here to here for the phones if you want to put your phone from the top you would need to take the measurement from the smaller side so for example if I take this and I want my phone to go in the case like this I will take the measurement from this shorter side and then I will work all the way up and this will be my opening so I could insert my iPad but for this laptop I want this opening to be on this side so I will need to take the measurement from this side to this side and this will be my start right here so I could insert my laptop this way so the opening will be here so the first measurement I will chain a chain from here to the other side so we are going to start with the slip knot hold your yarn and or 
court and like so wrap it around your two fingers and create a cross go under this first one on top of the second one pull it down and twist your hook now we are going to chain as many as we need for this measurement right here so as i said if you want your computer or laptop go this way you would need to take this measurement and you would work all the way up and the opening would be on the opposite side so as i want this case to be for my laptop i will take this measurement and the opening will be on the opposite side so we have slip knot and i already know how many chains and i am going to chain 41 plus one so yarn over pull through yarn over pull through and make it nice and tight so go ahead measure and once you have the chain you need i show you what to do next so i chain 41 and then i will add one chain and that chain will be my turning chain so i chain from here to here do not stretch it make it nice and loose counting like this now my case will be nice and tight if you prefer it loose then you can use six millimeters hook or you can add two extra chains so for me it was 41 and now i will add one more like so and it will be really nice and tight but if you want to lose use bigger hook so once you have your chain prepared you are going to work into the second chain from the hook insert like so and work single crochet like this and you will work single crochet all the way across like this all the way down to your last chain once you come to your last chain i show you what to do next And make your stitches nice and tight and I am finishing and I have only one chain left here and into this last chain you will place three single crochet so one two and the last one third one like so and now we are going to work on this opposite side and now on this opposite side as you can see we don't have proper stitches we, we have this bottom part of our starting chain in this last chain we placed our three single crochet and now we'll be working under these loops so you can clearly see and this will be into the same place where is the stitch on this side so we'll be working under this loop here this loop here and this loop here like so so we are not working here so we have done three single crochet into this last one so we are done here and now we are going to place single crochet here like so next one is here next one is here and now you can see 
they are opposite each other into the same place. So we will work like so all the way across. Nice and tight. like so so work all the way down and once you get somewhere here i show you how to finish it and i am finishing here so i will place single crochet here and now we'll be placing the last one here where is your very first one so you will squeeze two more into this place here where is your first one? Right here. And you will place two more. So you will have all together three. So one. And two. Now, you will be working into this spiral, but if you want, you can place this. You can place a stitch marker into this very first stitch here, so you know this is your start. And you will work, you will not slip stitch, you will work single crochet into this very first stitch. Okay, so let me just take the stitch marker out and work single crochet but not too tight so your first single crochet pull it higher slightly like so and work your single crochet like this now replace your stitch marker this is your very first stitch and we will work single crochet in every stitch around but just very nice and loose Okay, so we have our first single crochet and then we done single crochet here and we will do single crochet all the way around, just make it nice and loose, like so. Pull it high a little bit and work single crochet all the way around, like so. Don't make it very tight because in the next round we'll be working single crochet but right in the middle of this single crochet, these V's, split single crochet. So continue like so. And once you come here, you will simply work again single crochet in all three stitches all the way down and once you come back to your stitch marker i show you what to do next so this second round will be only single crochet all the way around nice and loose And I am finishing here and you will simply just continue single crochet in each stitch like so. like this and it will curl in like this and that's what we want because then we'll be building our case so 
So continue like so until you come to your stitch marker right here. And I am finishing my round two with single crochet only all the way around. And I have my last stitch here. And now, where is your stitch marker? That's your very first stitch. Now, we are going to work something a little bit different. For this row three, we'll be working split single crochet. What it means, we will be working right in the middle of your single crochet. So as you can see, you have this V for our single crochet and we will be working right in the middle of this V. As you can see, that's your V and you will work single crochet, but you will go right in the middle like so. Here, here, here and so on. So this row three will be your repeat row for as long as you need for your phone case or iPad case or in my case, it will be laptop case. <laughs> that was funny. Now, remove your stitch marker and you know this is your very first stitch here. So this is your very first V. Remove it. Now, this round three may be the most trickiest one. That's why I said you need to work single crochet in this round two, very nice and loose, so you can squeeze your hook in the middle, like so. So that's my first V here. Insert, like so. Yarn over and you will work your single crochet, but you need to bring your loop higher like this. And this will create this beautiful waistcoat single crochet and also known as split single crochet. And finish your single crochet like so. Replace your stitch marker so you know this is your very first stitch, but we will be working into the spiral. Now find your next V or next single crochet, insert your hook right in the middle. You can push it with your finger like this little bit so you can see clearly, insert in the middle, like so. Yarn over and bring it higher, like so. And finish your single crochet. Now. This loop is kind of big, so I need to do it again, but make sure this loop is smaller, like this. Okay, so keep it nice and tight. Okay, let's do it again. Insert. And now it's correct. You see, this loop is small, not too stretched. Now we need to stretch this loop a little bit higher and finish single crochet, like so into the next V, which is here, insert right in the middle, pull it higher and finish your single crochet. Make sure this loop is not too stretched, okay? We only need to stretch this one. Into the next V, pull it higher and into the next one, higher, only this loop needs to go higher. This one needs to be short. Into the next one. Into the next and so on. So when you stretch this loop, it will create this beautiful split single crochet. As you can see, 
It looks like a knit. Work split single crochet in every stitch around until you come to your stitch marker right here. And once you come to your stitch marker, you're not going to slip stitch or anything. You will simply continue into the spiral working your split single crochet around and around for as high as you need for your project. So I will finish this round and once I come to my stitch marker, I show you how to continue and then you will work for as many rounds for your project as you need. Just make sure this V is nicely stretched a little bit. So it will create these beautiful V's. And I have done this side and now I am on the round part. And you will simply continue. Just make sure you work right in the middle of your V's or single crochet from previous round. Next V, squeeze your hook, bring it higher. And continue. Like so. So it will curl in and that's what we want. So now I'm going to continue on this side. And once I get to my stitch marker, I show you what to do next. So I am finishing here. And here is my first stitch. Where is my stitch marker? So I'm going to remove it. And from now on, you don't even have to use it because you'll be working into the spiral. So this is my very first V again. So I will work my split single crochet in there. Like so. But of course, if you want, you can use the stitch marker and replace it after each round. So you know, this is your very first stitch or start. <laughs> and you will work around and around, split single crochet, like so for the rest of your project, as high as you need. And make sure it's nice and loose, not too tight. Otherwise, you will have difficulties to squeeze your hook right in the middle of your V. So that's it. That's how you are going to work. Repeating this row three. Split single crochet in every stitch around. And once you come here, you will simply work into this very first V, no slip stitching or anything. So continue. It will be twisting a little bit, but that's absolutely normal as you will, as you work higher and higher, it will flatten. So I'll be working for as many rounds as I need. And once I have the height for my laptop, I show you what to do next. So continue for as high as you need for your project. And this is my case completed. And in measurements, I have Two 
about nine inch and the width is about 12 inches it will stretch a little bit but if you want it more loose as i said at the start use bigger hooks so for example you can use six millimeters but as i want this case to be nice and tight on my laptop i was using five millimeters and continue until you can't see your phone or ipad or computer so one row extra once you place your device inside so let's just insert it in as you can see my one is nice and tight that's what i wanted and simply slide it on so i just placed my laptop in and as you can see i have slightly covering this edge so like one extra round so you can not see your device this one will stretch a little bit and it's nice and tight it will stretch nicely I prefer it when it's nice and tight so my laptop is nice and tight inside and won't get any scratches or anything so as you can see now we can work on this loop in the middle and we can sew the button i'm going to get my laptop out like so and next we are going to create a loop so we can close it so you need to finish right in the middle the best way to do so is to just fold it in half like this and place a stitch marker so i am somewhere here like so okie dokie so my last round my middle is somewhere here so as you can see i need to do one more stitch like so so now i'm going to chain 20 because i want to get somewhere here and then i will chain 20 again to go all the way back but for you if you are working on the phone case which is smaller of course you can make it shorter so it depends where do you want your button so for example i want my button somewhere here so i would just place a stitch marker or just chain as many as you need to get to the place where is your button and then remember the number so for me it was 20 so i will chain 20 and then i will chain 20 to get all the way back so if you are working on the phone case you may need less it depends how deep you want your button to be maybe you want your button somewhere here maybe you want it here it's totally up to you just remember the number of chains so you can chain exactly the same number all the way up so i am going to chain 20. Twenty. so i have 20 nice and tight and now i'm going to measure like this so i want my button somewhere here and now i'm going to chain 20 again so one 19 20 so now i have 20 again And it will go all the way up just make sure 
your chain is not twisted. So once you have your chain, make sure it's not twisted, like so. Remove this stitch marker because you don't need it anymore. And you are going to flip your chain like this. And now you have this big loop. So find this next stitch or V right next to this one here where you started. And go from the back right in the middle of the V and place this loop on your hook and pull it through like so. Make it nice and tight and make sure the chain is not twisted. So when the chain is like this, make sure it's nice and tight like this. So when you flip it, the chain is facing the right direction. And now all you're gonna do, just make it nice and tight. And chain one like this, and you can chain one more. Make it nice and tight and leave it longer and fast enough like this. Double check, and now all we have to do just to hide is a long yarn and like this, hide it on the wrong side, and then you can go back in like so, make sure it's hidden properly so it won't come out later on. Like so. It's hidden inside. And now all we have to do I need to sew the button. So my button will be somewhere here. And now we can sew the button. So you will need a matching thread, needle and the button. Once you have your button on, now you can just simply hook it like this. And that's it. As I said at the start, you can use this as your handbag as well because it's really, really beautiful. And you can use this pattern for many, many different projects. So if you want to use it as a handbag you can just chain a long chain from here all the way to this side or you can buy these chains on ebay or online which you can just hook here and hook here and you have a beautiful handbag of course you can make it bigger or smaller it's totally up to you simply just 
start with a longer chain if you want it bigger or shorter chain if you want it shorter and also work as high as you like for your project and this is it this is our beautiful case or handbag completed so if you enjoyed this video please don't forget to like it share it and of course don't forget to subscribe to my channel unique stitch designs for more ideas from me sylvia and please don't forget to find me on social medias i am on facebook instagram pinterest and tiktok thank you very much for watching